Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for today's session, Thursday, the 5th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the uh, Apple's App Store. Okay, now let's look at the actual numbers today. Uh, market still re remaining stubborn, certainly not uh, moving lower. FTSE finishing uh, around that 7200 mark again. Even with the oil prices sliding and sterling rocketing higher, okay, and Brexit uncertainty as well, openly declared by uh, one of the uh, ministers from Norway. In terms of um, economic data, uh, let's just uh, bring that up for you. A China cakes in, uh, obviously throughout the week, certainly coming in stronger as well. Uh, overnight certainly came in stronger. Uh, Japanese PMI certainly coming in stronger as well. Uh, Chinese inflation not exactly there, where we uh, certainly need to be con concerned about. Uh, to a large extent, same thing with regards to uh, the CHF uh, inflation as well, certainly lackluster and subdued. The actual uh, UK market services PMI came in much, much stronger and also indicated obviously rising inflation, which also helped the fact that uh, sterling certainly rallied today as well. PPI or inflation data from uh, Europe, uh, certainly stronger, uh, coming in at 0.3% month on month again, raising inflation concerns. ADP employment change, certainly nowhere near the expected figure, which was around 170k, came in at 150. Not exactly a, a good sign. Also, jobless claims slightly up as well to a large extent uh, on a uh, December basis. Uh, initial jobless claims certainly on the lower side, but given the fact that uh, employment ADP numbers certainly didn't come in as stellar as expected, certainly did cause the dollar to certainly crash. Uh, bang and wallop okay in terms of uh, uk uh, or should we say us pmis certainly coming in stronger across the board okay so again certainly hardly helping the dollar dollar uh, obviously stabilize after the adp number to a large extent okay now in terms of uh, european closes you had the dax more or less flat the cac flat FTSE mib flat literally everything flat okay so that's in the face of a strengthening euro now the euro is at 1.06 and yet European equities are unfazed, which really is pretty impressive. As you can see here, we've had a stellar run on the euro, and yet European equities unfazed. So, begs the question: uh, Do our sterling's actually our, our currencies such as sterling and the euro uh, actually uh, hurting the actual rally, or are they actually supporting the rally? And it really is confusing when you have sterling falling, the FTSE certainly appreciating, but sterling rallying, and FTSE remaining stagnant. And so. Again, oil prices sliding as well, down to 52, yet FTSE remaining stagnant. Oil prices obviously higher today again, and, and the FTSE is still stuck at 7200. So what's driving equities? That's the question. Um, given the uh, pattern of the last month or two, one would have expected, obviously, uh, a weakening euro and sterling, certainly helping the equities of those countries and therefore the exports, etc. And that certainly is being questioned at the moment now we have the FTSE 250 at the moment obviously uh, into resistance here horizontal resistance testing the resistance of key zone and uh, whether or not we could actually uh, break through that now given the fact that sterling has started to rise and certainly putting in a potential base okay that certainly is coming into question now okay so it'll be interesting to see how us markets close today in order to find it our direction okay now Let's bring up the actual technical pattern on the German DAX at present. The daily chart really is in no man's land. Okay, ever since that 11.610 gap fill, certainly has been uh, trading sideways. 60-minute chart, again, trading sideways. Uh, the interesting thing here is that we've still made it. We're still making a lower high. We haven't made a higher high, nor have we tested the previous high. And we're actually below that uh, FIB 75% resistance. The longer we remain there and consolidate, the, the further lower we go. Okay. In terms of the upside today, the pivot high being the uh, key 11600 zone. Okay. You do have this key diagonal trend line as well. Certainly, you respect that lower side. You have 11530 support. Okay. 60 minute chart again. Like I said, you're obviously making a lower high. Uh, French CAC. Let's quickly go over that again. You're looking at double top at 4905. And the wider picture really is the HNS formation after breaking out the bullish channel. So certainly a high probability of retesting that 4850 and potentially lower. So again, bear that in mind ever since that doji top, certainly haven't pushed higher. FTSE 100 really is uh, carving out a potential HNS formation as well. Bear in mind you do have the gap at 7116, uh, uh, okay, to be precise. 
60 minute chart the bull flag certainly didn't continue okay so again that certainly is circumspect and the daily chart really is putting in a doji candle today again indicating weakness okay so keep an eye on that keep an eye on the FTSE um, really is looking lackluster with the FTSE 250 into resistance as well let's bring up the European uh, stocks 50 again from my perspective ever since that doji's been put in we certainly have uh, capped any further gains a 60 minute chart has this HS formation, so let's all eyes on this HS. Very similar to the French CAC, okay? You're looking at the top being 3335, certainly has held us far. You had a bear flag formation on the on the Euro stocks, flushed as low as 3305, okay? So looking to break this key neckline, which is at 3302. If you flush that, then you are looking at 3280 next. So my bias is, is clearly evident, it's on the bearish side, okay? So do your own analysis folks okay come to your own conclusion but from a technical perspective we're going lower from a fundamental perspective given the spike in the euro to 1.06 and given the fact that the fed wasn't as hawkish as everybody expected this uh, weak uh, currency rally really has come to an end okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye